meeting to order at 7.31? One. Yep. Okay, so uh, call the hand for uh, Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with the liberty and justice for all. Okay. How about a roll call? Smith? Here. Patterson? Here. Henderson here. Conan? Here. Shoemaker? Here. Sludge? Here. Delecky? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay, so uh, approval of the agenda. So if there is nothing to add, a no motion to approve as presented. So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Uh, approval of minutes from March 2nd. You all know that I'm going to have to retire now because this is the first time I did this all in order without messing up. <laughs> So far. So far. <laughs> Night is young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I don't see any mistakes yet this time. I will make a motion to accept. I'll second. Okay, a motion to uh, approve as presented. Yes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, Aye. so moved. Okay, site plan. Uh, um, one one question. I might have not picked it up quick enough here. Um, oh, never mind. You got me arriving at seven thirty. Okay, that's what I wanted. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. okay. I came late, but I wanted to make sure she had me here, and she does. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so visiting for site plan. So do you have new drawings? Or we're still waiting for new drawings. Just one set. The one I gave you a set, didn't I, or no? Not since last week. No, I thought I did. Some of it is addressed on, on one set. Some of it. Yeah. The grades are on this. I thought I gave you two. I'm sorry. No. I'm it's all sorry. Here. The grades are addressed. The light pole. The you. You. What about all the dimensions? Dimensions are on. Okay. You want to look at it or no? Um, yeah, we everybody needs yeah. a copy. I know. I apologize. I yeah, we just put them around. Okay, there. sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. This, this this one is yeah. dimensionally lacking. I think you wanted more dimensions on the actual building. Just just two pages. The, the just showing the setback, the square footage. Yeah, the square footage, because square footage was listed, but there was no dimensions on the building to verify the square footage. More grades, the catch basin. He had on there, we're, we're going to tear out all the concrete and asphalt in the front of the building. Okay. To get the slope better down. This was added. One that was added. Yeah. Like pulling, they put a cart trail in there. Okay. Um, so did, and did more dimensions and more grades, showing the grades you wanted along the side that they mm -hmm. wanted. So we had... Did you happen to think about, you know, we, we talked about you were going to trough the water. Are you still going to do that or are you going to maybe put a catch basin in and go underneath since you're taking out concrete? So you got I didn't catch the first part. Okay, so like for the new parking lot? Mm -hmm. Okay, just kind of let you guys know that Mike and I have had quite a few conversations over the last uh, week and a half. So when these drawings came out, then I contacted him, and we've talked about uh, things that needed to be on the drawing, uh, and then kind of elevations uh, on the parking lot, uh, the retaining wall between Fifth Third and, uh, and and the new proposed parking lot. So there was quite a few things that we talked about. Um, so um, where where the New parking lot comes out here. You were talking about you were going to take the concrete out in front of the building, mm -hmm. and then you were going to put a trough like the village, like Main Street. Mm -hmm. um, I started thinking about it, 
So <clears throat> you're tearing out that concrete anyway. Why don't you put a catch basin right there? We put a catch basin in there. Did you? Yep. Awesome. On this plant, right here. Good. That, that's what this yep, is? Yes, that's the catch basin going to the existing. Okay, We're cool. still changing the slope yep. on it. Yep, yep. We're gonna, awesome. It's going to be um, yep. heated concrete under the entrance. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, okay, so... And do you have an... Are you guys, if you guys are done with that drawing, can you pass it so everybody can see it? We were close on the, for the parking spaces before, before we bought that lot, but now we're not close for required parking spaces. Now we're over, over right. probably by 20 spaces. Um, 11. Around. 11. 11, we're over? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I apologize. There's a lot going on right now, and I thought I brought those to them. Actually, I had two phone calls. The building inspector called me, and Ben called me like at 6 o'clock on a Friday night to remind me two weeks ago to get them to you, and I appreciate that, but uh, it's been going in... in uh, well, it's not like you didn't have a holiday weekend in there, too. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, so we still don't have truck uh, a truck route. We don't have everything finished, and that's why to make 11 okay. sets or whatever, it, it, yeah. there really isn't. It, it's closer. He took more out of the corner, so it has the radius. Didn't write in truck route. Didn't have um, a, a, a fair amount of. Yeah, we deleted. It. You don't have to finish. Okay. All right, I'll get it wrong. Yeah, the residential property is not in there, drawn in there either, is it? The residential. No. Yeah, next no. to the Fulton Street entrance. Yeah. yeah. We changed the lights, put them over by the on the side of the house, and shine. we put two less wattage. I think they're around 200, 175 watts, and they go towards the bank. Awesome. Ben awesome. contacted the bank last week. The president, the manager, Fred, Fred and yeah. someone yeah. from Fifth Third in Southfield called me already this morning. They're send, sending someone out either this week or next week to address the retaining wall. So they're going to yeah. get yeah. right on that. Um, yeah. So to coincide with when we do the. Sure that the parking. Block out I don't have any more than just that they're, they're um, you know, they have a company that does maintenance for Fifth Third and they're going to be out here. He gave me the contact and they have my information. So yeah. 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 So we'll work with them on that. Yeah. What they told me is they're going to be, hopefully be there this week. And I talked to them about uh, um, maybe, uh, definitely getting rid of the cyclone fence and maybe putting some plantings up there. But if you kind of look at it, I think uh, um, we should maybe discuss that later on um i don't uh, the the fence and the plantings i mean you're going from commercial to commercial uh mm -hmm. so the commercial to residential on the parking lot then you need a planting but i don't know if we really need anything up by the front up, up, you know i would say something up by the front but definitely you know by the back i don't know if you need it yeah you know you um, when you say the back yeah no yeah, and there's a fence there. I I would say maybe just do some oh, okay. some curbing yeah. here, but I don't know what they what Fifth Third wants to do. I mean that's it's not their thing, but <clears throat> um, and then uh, so I do have the contact name of the guy at Fifth Third, but you know rather than just a straight brick wall, uh, maybe we could kind of uh, uh, talk to them about maybe doing a retaining wall. It's only you know with the bricks with you know retaining where they kind of offset come up. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's only three bricks high in that. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it, isn't it three or is it four? Maybe four, yeah. It's not. Yeah, it's it's, not it's either three or four. Yeah. 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 So it's not very much so. And I think they're only offset, what, two inches of, per block? So it's not like the big thing. Yeah. Yeah, so it's on. It's only the retaining well. It's only like three foot high or something. Yeah, it's I don't even think high. that. It's it's, it's three or four blocks. It's so. two. It's two and a half at the front. I don't know what it is at the it's, back. It's even on the front, isn't it? It's what? It's in, it's even at the very at the side. At, yeah, at the at, at the front where right. behind yeah. the bank. Yeah. It's it's two and a half feet tall there. Yeah. But I think it gets deeper, doesn't it? As it yeah, gets and the it goes back. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does. So anyway, uh, do you have? You guys got that? Drawing. So we you, when you're done with it, can you pass it to Paul and then give it back to us? <clears throat> um, so, I, 
I, I don't know what anybody else's feeling is, but I, I think we can discuss this. I think we're moving forward, but I don't think we're ready for approval. <clears throat> Has the painting, I know in here it says paint the whole building. Has that been discussed at all? Um, I don't know, what, what is your plan right now with painting the building? Yeah, it'll be the whole building will be building. painted yeah. or recited, the parts that will be recited. What I'm looking, do I need approval to start on the parking lot from you guys? Um, as far as the... I know I need approval before I get final, which I'm, Correct. you know, I'm a month and a half away before that, so I do have time. But when the weather breaks, which it started already today, how's it coming inside? So I, it's it's coming along. Is it? Yeah, they're gonna start setting shelves this week and oh, good. doing that kind of a thing. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's moving. There's there's still a fair amount of work to do. Yeah. How about the coolers? Uh, most of them are cooked up. I think. Yeah, they're not on yet, but they're plumbed and oh, ready good. to go. They still have a few more to get, but you know what I'm looking for? That that's. I didn't see anything from the report saying that they're not going to allow a parking lot and this and that. The you know the landscaping, the, some of those issues, which I don't I don't know what there is that. Did, do you guys see anything that they're going to say you can't have? Well, a <coughs> um, or the the big thing with the parking is you're over uh, you're over your limit. So we need to uh, work through that one. Can we work through it? Yes, but uh, um, Laura. I would say we should have the complete picture of everything before we move forward in case something needs to be modified. Um, the dimensions that were provided tonight will help, but we do need to kind of work some of those out and make sure that the calculations are right. The, the, the residential yeah. property, you know, that should be out there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and maybe if you wanted, we could go through the letter and kind of touch on some of these subjects, make sure that you have a, the perfect understanding of what needs to happen. And can I ask something then, real quick? What what is the what is the thinking behind having too many parking spots? Yeah, doesn't that sound like I, a contradiction in terms of our data? So, um, I, I question the same thing. So, um, I'm going to defer to Ms. Paul again. So the reason that the zoning ordinance has the minimum and the maximum is to prevent like just a sea of parking um, that someone would want to develop, which can be a hindrance to other developments going in if it's just an excess and it's never used. It's just taking up space that could be used for something else. Um, but also, that having too much, you know, paved surface is negative for the uh, environment um, and doesn't doesn't help to create uh, a walkable community. Um, so Are that's why they were they were added to the zoning ordinance. I don't think any of that applies to this. Well, the I, I agree, but it is a, it is our zoning ordinance, right. and whether you agree or disagree or or whatever the thinking is, it's still in our ordinance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we we have to go by what the book says because it's the ordinance. Just like we had to go by the liquor ordinance, we're doing something with the liquor ordinance, but you still have to go by what the book says. Yeah, I was just wondering what the what the thought process behind that was. We had a lengthy discussion, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> you know, in order to, to provide some more parking on site, there can be an agreement reached between the applicant and the village to designate some of those spaces as public parking for the downtown, um, which could help. You know this business if, if they feel they really need that parking but also other businesses that are within the 300 feet of the um of the lot we can also change the size of the parking spaces correct um and we can take some off maybe out of the back of the we have some in the back that we could take some of the yeah those you off. could get rid of the ones no. in the back and just put that into storage that would get you within six in compliance. Is yours a nine by eight? I, I didn't read the ordinance by if you architect. Nine, nine by 18. 18. Yeah, and you have that two foot overhang, so. Um, so the nine by 20 is a standard parking place. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, 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 they're fine, they're fine space how they are. And actually with, on your revised site plan tonight, with, you eliminated two spaces, so now we actually are we're over by nine. And then I think, yeah, there's some in the back that we get, so we'll, we'll be close, huh? 
Well, but if you wanted to use those for employee parking, I mean, if you wanted to just work out an agreement with the village for those nine spaces in this, you know, the Fulton lot, then, okay. then that would suffice as well. Because there's only six spaces in the back. The excess air parking, parking places with um, buried. Yeah, we have kept reading that. There was it's minimal. They have yeah, 66 so many spaces. Yeah, I thought there was some kind of misprint. Especially when you're talking about our major parking spots and they can have. The one that's the default makes it that much nicer. I think it's like 52 and a half feet. That makes it more of a lot of water. That's a big plus, I think. Yeah, that's a big plus. 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 Yeah, it's too bad for you to have money in it before that one. Yeah, we talked about it. Okay. All right, no, I'm bad at it. Well, the problem we had with that kind of was the fact that we have to get across the river to get to downtown. We just have a blinking light at the fold to the main. That's more fun. So we have like a traffic light that you can have with your catch line. 16 to 20. So people coming out of that parking lot wouldn't have to go across the river. They're trying to cross the street. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? It's the busiest intersection we have. It's not here. That's why we want to do it. It's the intersection we have. Okay, so, so, so they're all going to night. It's all nice to be parking now versus oh, yeah. parking. What we yeah, in the two-way. So, okay, so yeah. one, one of the reasons why we wanted the interior dimensions was we could verify your square footage. Because if your square footage is actually larger than what you're saying it is, then your parking uh, thing gets a little bit less. So, but to answer Mike's question, Mr. Vinegar's question earlier, can we deviate from the parking space from nine foot to ten foot? So, is there any ordinance saying that we can make he can't make the parking space bigger? No, he could do a twenty by ten. Okay. okay. So, so minimum in the I, I think there's your. I didn't know there was a maximum. I can. I'll take this back, and the architect can work it and make it fit on. Yeah. What you want? You know, he can make that work. Bigger space would be nice thing. With yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, just take your your back parking thing and make that into just. Delete the parking, just make that storage. Okay. Um, I, mean, uh, I agree. I like the extra parking spaces, like you say, but we also have a timing issue. The more complicated we make it. Right. Well, what about an agreement with the village on the spaces? Uh, uh, that that would take time, and uh, we 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 could do that. Uh, I think the um, and and I I, I, I know what Mr. Vinegar is wanting to do as far as. You know, if it's construction season, and once things start popping, and if you're going to be open by Memorial Day, that's mm -hmm. your hope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you really, have to kind of start doing as soon as frost laws are off. Start kind of uh, mm -hmm. doing some groundwork. Um, okay. Uh, so, the um, I would. Th I, I, what do you guys think? What about a special meeting? I'll pay for a special meeting. Okay, okay, so we'll have a special meeting. So get your drawings done. Um, have uh, uh, redo the parking. Uh, get the dimensions on the building. Um, ad address what we're the the screening that we're going to do here from uh, the uh, between the house and uh, uh, on lot 26. So to your new parking lot. Um, so that one's kind of major, and, and the dimensions inside the building. So um, uh, I'm glad you've you've uh, got with your engineer, and you uh, uh, you decided to put a catch base, and I think that's a real plus. Mm -hmm. So I, I, you know, personally, I like what you've done so far. So I, I don't. The rest of the commission really hasn't even hasn't really been talking like we have. But, um, so what do you guys think? Sounds good. Special meeting sounds good to me. Okay. So what, what are the retain, about the retaining wall and all that stuff? That well, happened? actually the retaining wall isn't part of his approval. Okay. So the retaining wall is something that that is owned and admittedly owned by Fifth Third. Okay. So they're going to do that, uh, but <coughs> um, and they said that they would 
they would do it as, as fast as they could uh, to accommodate uh, the new construction. Okay. And you said that this is not dimensioned, the building is not dimensioned yet? Um, no. Well, I, I just had a second to glance at the Laura, yeah. you're the planner. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. Uh, kind of. So yeah, the, the the this drawing shows it, but none of us have this drawing. Okay. So, okay, so it, it, do we want to go through the rest of this now or not? Sure, we could. No, Anything you'd like to do, uh, you have the floor. Just what what you want, you know, covered on, and it's not major. I just had a meeting this afternoon on row engineering on another. I'm putting the gas pumps at the Elmont store, and, and the same thing. I, if we can go through and address them, I'll get them done this week and get the plans over. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. Um, I'm on page three of their review right now, the, the revised letter, number two, um, dated April 2nd. And I think we just um, dealt with item number three, the off-street parking. You know that there's a 52 space maximum, but we'll do the calculations to make sure that it is that, because if the floor space ends up being larger, you could have more parking. Um, Number four, the loading space. Um, if you could provide a bit more um, information about the types of deliveries and their frequency and hours. I know those are operational um, considerations, but this loading space that's proposed is directly behind the, um, the single family residences here. And we're just concerned about long-term truck parking and any noise that that might um, result in. And then the truck turning radiuses as well make sure that the pathway fits for your type. Yeah, that was in the new drawing. And the new drawing that is on there. Yeah. The corner coming in off of uh, North Avenue and the radius coming in the back end. Didn't you make that corner larger? He took out the two spaces. He took out a couple more spaces. Yeah, yeah, that's good. But it's still not indicated. It's not, he doesn't have the flow. You want the flow on there? Yeah, you, it, it should show the flow. Got and it. Then, uh, um, are there certain hours that we can that are designated in the ordinance for because we're next to residential for <coughs> unloading? We we can ask them what time they deliver, and we're Spartan guys are there today, and we're in that process right now. Sure, that, that would be good information to provide the commission so that you can make a decision on what you think is appropriate for that location. We open at seven in the morning for business, and we close at nine o'clock seven days a week. The only day we're closed is Christmas Day, and we have shortened hours on Easter and Thanksgiving, and I think those are the only two. Other than that, we're open every day from 7 in the morning, so we typically start around 6.30. That's, that would be the first delivery. We don't. We used to have trucks come in at 3, 4, or 5 in the morning. We don't do that. Our people come in at 6.30, and we stay till 9.30 or 10 o'clock, depending on when it closes. So those are our, our deliveries normally start in the morning and stop around mid-afternoon two, three o'clock. So I don't know if there's anything in the ordinance stating, but that's a few on Saturday, none on Sunday, Monday through Friday, most of them. What do you, being that you have other stores, what do you, what are, what's your, uh, your early morning where you kind of get your, where you, where your peak hours start? For business or for deliveries? For, for business. Um, Monday through Friday, our business doesn't really start till the afternoon, around 2 o'clock, and it goes till 7, 8 o'clock at night. Saturdays, it starts around 11 o'clock, and Sunday around 11 o'clock, and it goes till about 4. I think my manager brought an hour sheet last time. We know what we do every day business, how many dollars we do, and that tells us how busy we are. That day and that's what it is Monday through Friday it's quiet we're open at 7 in the morning just as a convenience going to school this and that we're already there so we started that about five years ago turn the register on we're there at 6 30 we turn the register on at 7 and people like that same thing at, we used to close at 8 o'clock at night some nights now we close at night we're there anyhow so it's just turning the register it's not that we're that busy but it's just a convenience okay so that being said and the reason I was asking that, that question was uh, uh, Laura's thing about the uh, uh, loading and unloading. So what about loading and unloading? And this would be 
uh, after eight o'clock in the morning, and then uh, you could do it after. I, I'm proposing from eight to two. So eight to two would be when your parking lot is, is not congested. So you could do it afterwards, but then that would, your trucks would be going in and out while right. you were congested. Right. So that gives you six hours per day to load and unload and not really have a whole lot of disruption uh, with your clientele in the parking lot. And then the eight o'clock would be uh, uh, in consideration of the, the residents that are uh, adjacent to that area. Does that sound feasible? Mm -hmm. We could do that possibly if you if we could unload on the front loading area at seven o'clock or six thirty which is just business area the bread guys the little vendors that come in smaller trucks you know they start at four in the morning we don't open we won't have anyone at the store till six thirty in the morning I don't think you most of those guys them anyways Here's most of those guys side. really come in the front door anyway don't they'll they? come on that side by the so, deli yeah, that double okay, door there yeah, all right yeah yeah we could do spartan in our set we only yeah we get yeah. uh so the only thing that would be in that consideration would be the semis that came in uh, to go to your rear overhead door. Mm -hmm. and, the other, and the other ones, it's kind of however you want to do it. Yeah. You're going to use the same delivery day as the Ace does now, Thursday mornings, or? I don't know that yet. Yeah, so but you don't, you don't want to limit it to that one, hit. Paul. I mean, if, if, if yeah. he has a, you know, a really busy week. If, okay, I know, just. Because they they were they were they were always there about four thirty five. Yeah, but you, 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 they, you, that's eight. But now you're yeah. throwing a grocery store into it too. Yeah. With perishables. Yeah. You know, it's a different deal. I think they're good with that. Yeah. Eight yeah. Eight we can do that. I think that sounds okay. Yeah. Monday through Friday, then Saturday. I mean. So your deliveries can be at any time in the in the in the smaller trucks up in the front, mm -hmm. and then your deliveries in the semis would be just that uh, eight to two. Got it. I mean, it, it, yeah, so the, at the 8 o'clock, if you want to extend it past the 2 o'clock, that, you know, it, it, just say so now. and We don't really want to. If it did, I don't think it would be. We don't want to. Okay. But it just now and sense. again, someone will come in. Exactly. The big yeah. stores, they lock the door, too. We don't do that. If someone's late and they come in at 4 o'clock, we're going to unload them mm -hmm. and do it. But no, we want, we just assume they're done also. Saturday? Yeah. That's not Saturday. Saturday. We have Saturday, Saturday deliveries. So there you go. So when do Monday through Saturday? Monday through, Monday through Saturday. Saturday is fine, sure. Good. Yeah. Okay. The, the big thing is just not to wake somebody up early in the morning. Right. That's fine. No. Okay. Okay. So, what's, what's next? Uh, <clears throat> the next item is architecture and building design. Um, we haven't seen any revised elevations um, since the first set of plans. Um, the comments, so I'm here for our first. That's, that's on this drawing, though. It's your, your, you do have. I don't know, is it, where is it? I saw it somewhere. Yeah, they, they were the same from the first one. Um, okay. So most of these comments are asking for additional details um, and that the building maintain a uniform appearance. Um, but we'll need to, to see where the uh, you know rooftop mechanical equipment is. Um, what the colors are going to be and any samples that you might have. Just to make Sorry. <laughs> it's already done. It's already done. It's already done. All, 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 all the, uh, all this has already been approved by the building inspector. The front of the building is, is yeah, finished. The, the, the siding every, is everything that you're looking at right now is, is done. Right. What about so. the screening on the uh, roof? Well, okay. So the only draw, the only dimension that is not here, Mike, is the original building height. So the new parapets uh, are on here, but the old. Uh, height isn't so if you could kind of come to what the what you've got in difference from your roof height to the top of your parapet yep so and then uh, we talked earlier today uh, or, or this week about that or maybe the end of last week uh, about what that uh, difference of heights would be and then what your roof units would be but you don't even know what the roof units are yet or they do you I, I don't have a dimension. They have them in. They haven't set them yet. And I talked to Ben, Laura, when we met there. And if we, we don't think you're going to see them from the front. And, but we'll put screening on them. Yeah, but to draw it in, Mike, that, I, I don't have the dimension on the rooftop unit. Yeah. They're going to be here any day and beyond. So. Well, if you can't see them, from, that, that's okay. But we just want to make sure that. 
see them in the elevation to, to know that we won't be able to see them on the road. Well, that's the that's the because he he did raise the front of the building. The front mm -hmm. fascia uh, has increased. Uh, uh, I don't know. Do you know what you increased that? I don't have the number. I, yeah, I it's a couple. It, it's, it's over a couple of feet, isn't oh it? Oh yeah, probably four feet in the highest four to four or five feet on the highest part. So. So they may already be screened. Probably are. Yeah. But. So the only other thing would be maybe to the east, but you know, so uh, what do you want? You want my architect want me to get the height form and draw them? And what is the angle? Does I don't know this. Why I'm asking this? Is there a certain angle that has to be covered? On or you just if you see them at all from the ground or from the second floor or what is the rule on the screening? So the, the intent of this is that if you were like on the um, public sidewalk or the right away in the street that you wouldn't be able to look up and see a bunch of equipment. On the street, <laughs> North Ave, either street, sidewalk, gotcha. Probably the Fulton Street's probably going to be the trickier of the two. Because that's just flat, flat roof there. Mm -hmm. But if it's minimal, it, I mean, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to say without seeing what that height difference really is. Right. And what you'd be comfortable with. Okay, I'm going to pr uh, propose something. What if we take, let Dennis make the decision once the thing is up there? Whether so it's accepted, the, whether the, it's the, the two, to, Yes, right. yeah. So okay. to the north, I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's just a question to the east. Yeah. And if it's from the sidewalk, you got two or three houses that right. are in front of it. So. And we don't even know where the two of them are not going to see for sure. There, there, there's one unit there, and if it needs screening, I mean, I will up with screening on it. Yeah. If, so if, I don't know. What's what do you think, Laura? I mean, that's if the if the commission as a whole is comfortable with um, leaving that to Dennis. On um, whether it's our screened building at better. all, right. yeah. And if it needs it, it sure. Needs it I mean, he's the one that's actually going to see it. No, I'm, I'm just looking at what you're going to see. It looks like from the picture, there's a there's a big big tree. <laughs> so it's from the parking lot. The new parking lot is really on the other side. You said there's residences in that. And right. you, if you stood on that sidewalk trying to see it over the houses, and then I don't know what you're going to say. I just realized that that's the one has got the upstairs. There are existing rooftops on there now, and, and you don't yeah, see don't them. I'm going to pull yeah. the old ones off. We already put the new curbs in. Yeah. So I, I really yeah, don't think it's. That. Are, are the new ones pretty much going to go in where the old ones are? Within, yeah, 10 feet, yeah. probably. Yeah. Most most rooftops yeah. in that size are only three to four feet tall anyway. Yeah. Mike, do you know what the brand is and the tonnage? They're, I believe they're 10 ton carrier. Carrier? Yeah. They're one, they're one of the lower riding ones. Yeah, yeah, if they're only 10 tons, so you're going to have a few of those units? Four. Yeah, so the they're not going to be, uh, they might only be a little over three feet tall. Yeah, they shouldn't be more than... Yeah. That. That's yeah. I did 32 yeah. is the max. Well, that's how this table. <laughs> mm. uh, I think the table's probably 30 if, I, if it's that high. So anyway, so what, I, if it's okay with you guys, I'd like to just defer to that. You're going to mom and mom curve? Paul? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's another four to six. Okay. Yeah, I have no problem yeah. with that. Okay. Will that work? Okay. okay. Me too. Get a three-year-old one on eBay if you want. Right now. <laughs> you, can buy it, you can buy it now on eBay if you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so what's next? Um, item number six, the top of page four, is lighting. Um, so on these revised plans, originally it was proposed at 40 watts, and now it's moved 400. down. 400. I'm sorry, 400, yeah. Now it's 275. Um, the zoning ordinance does recommend that it's 250. Is there any... Yeah, two seventy five isn't isn't a wattage. Two fifty is. I apologize. Two fifty and one seventy five. I'm just a messenger. <laughs> okay. So I, I, I think we got a typo here. All right. We'll change if that. It's, yeah. If it's we'll one seventy five or not. Yeah. All right. So, where do you see the, so it's, uh, it's, it's on this drawing right here. It's not oh, okay. Like it's it's new it's new it was moved, right? Yeah, it was, it was yeah, there was a single uh Mike and I talked about it. Uh, um, rather than have a single at 400 watts, it was going to be two at 175 or 
two fifty, but I think I think you we're talking about one seventy five, so but whatever it is. Is that yeah. is that on the north or south side of that Fulton lot? It's on the south side now. Yeah. It's on the south side of Yeah, it, it's here. Let me look at the so it's hanging out on here. Yeah, so look we'll, we'll go towards the bank now. Yeah. That's, yeah that's, but those those lights if, if you're gonna get the the, the canopy lights, the they're metal hay light, and they only show, or do they, they have a direction to them, or they do they only show down? No, they'll tip. They'll, they'll tip just a little bit? Yeah. Well, you want to make sure that they don't tip too far so yeah. that, you know, you, you're you not supposed to see that light from the road. Okay. So that's, that's, um, that's the report. Okay. Okay. So then... <coughs> Just look something up real quick. I think that I remember in the lighting section that it does. There's a distance requirement from a residential. <clears throat> so the if the light fixture is um, within 50 feet of a residential district or use, which before it was greater than 50 feet, but on the south side of the parking lot now it's like six feet, um, the light pole has to be a maximum of 15 feet. And right now it's at 16. Okay. So <clears throat> reduce it to 15 feet in height then. Okay. Okay. Because of that, that distance. Well, that's easy. Um, mm -hmm. And then the next item is the landscaping and screening. And um, so far, the landscaping um, has been added to the site plan. And I think we're all happy to see sure. to see some of that. Um, if your architect could just let us know what what kind of species that you're proposing and the quantity of those. Um, the ordinance is pretty specific about species that are prohibited. Um, I can send you or him. That list. Um, just want to make sure that they're not invasive or anything. Okay. <clears throat> and what exactly is going on? And then, in terms of the screening for the residential um, boundary, we are recommending um, that instead of this wood fence that will come out to, to Fulton, that we would do in its place um, a six to eight foot evergreen um, screen that probably be more visually pleasing for the neighbors and also because of how close their house is to the lot having a fence there just that little bit of grass area is kind of becomes a dead zone for them um, and i can i can after the meeting if you like you can kind of sketch it out or something if it helps to show okay and the this greening if, if i could mm -hmm. uh in the front Kind of like the front yard, uh, that should only be 30 inches high. Yeah. So any cars that are going out can see over top as they're they're exiting or enter, entering. Yeah, have it taper down, and then where it abuts um, the last parking space, it would end like right here. So yeah. Yes. Kind of meet yeah, up with this. So <laughs> not the last, but the first parking place. Mm -hmm. So off the road. So, and that's what we we're talking about is from the sidewalk. I don't know what that front yard requirement is. Do you, any of you guys remember? I think it was in the old ordinance that's not specified in this ordinance. Now we talked at the death. Yeah, I know we <laughs> did. And I think it was in the old foot? ordinance and it's not. Yeah, because it, it was. So it just, it just to use a common sense thing. Yeah. So I think it's like 30 feet back. So you're 30 inches high so that any car you know, coming up to that right. approach can see somebody on the sidewalk or a kid on a bicycle, okay. you know. Um, gotcha. And then the rest would be, uh, I don't know, what's the height's requirement? Um, six, six to eight would be a nice. It's only got four feet. What? Four feet, you mean? Four feet in what? Oh. So it, it, it can't. It, um, so eight feet's not going to work. Six foot. Uh, you're what are you talking like? Everybody is that what you're talking? Mm -hmm. Is there a? Um, 
Could, could we narrow the um, maneuvering aisle by... I don't know, it's 22 feet. foot. The, the, the requirement's 20 foot, yeah. but we're a rural community community with a lot of long pickup trucks. Yeah. I, I don't I don't want to I don't want to reduce that. I think twenty two foot um, twenty foot you're when you're backing up and you've got a long long truck you're going into the into the into the cars behind you. Mm -hmm. Weren't weren't you talking about ten by twenty parking spots too? Well yeah, but they are. He's he he's showing eighteen uh, feet but there's a two foot overhang. So oh, I it, see. Yeah, it, I is, see. It, it is actually 20 foot, and he's showing six foot to the curb, so you're actually yeah. going to have curb stops? Yeah. Is, is that what I'm seeing here? So it's six foot to the back side of the curb stop, so you'll really only have four foot for, uh, of, of planting area. Yeah. So in the, you, you, you can't plant much in four feet. Right? No, you can't. So, but I, uh, I, I think. Well, what, what happened to the their original idea of eliminating that strip of uh, parking spots on Fulton Street on the, on the uh, south side? Wasn't that the, your original plan? Or one of your suggestions, I think, was to eliminate where all that uh, handicapped parking is all the way down to uh, Fulton Street. Yeah, that was in the original letter. Yeah. And that would, that would have take care of that 11 parking spot problem for one thing. And it'd give you a lot more room in, in your berm for planting something. There'd be a lot more room there then. And that 22 feet would be nothing. You'd probably have 28, 29, 30 feet or something there. Well, I, I'm not Mr. Vinegar, but as a business owner, <laughs> if I bought a parking, a, a, a lot, turned it into a parking lot, and you told me I could only have 10 yes, parking places, right. I'd yeah. say, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, is that, is that the idea, or is the idea to have a second entrance up full? The, the big thing, and I, I, I've been a big proponent in this for a long time, was to have uh, two entrances into that lot. Right. So to come in off of Fulton Street and to exit onto Main. So I tried to get Cordy's to do that, but they told me I was too late, uh, and they had come to the Planning Commission prior. Uh, and we're turned down for that, but as it is, as it has been, all the semi trucks went cr across Main Street and back blind all the way down that parking lot. Right. Yeah. So that was that, that was not conducive to safety, and I, I have to applaud Mr. Vinegar for buying this lot and and having the forethought to to do this and I want to do anything that we can to make this feasible. Because this, this to me is, 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 is planning's main guidelines are health, safety, and welfare. And this is safety. This, this, this is our prime Well, directive. I'm not saying to eliminate this lot. I'm no, no, I, 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 I understand. But it actually opens up that lot. It'll open up that lot. Because, you know, you're only uh, taking maybe a couple of feet on that strip. If you take those, you got to eliminate 11 spots anyway, right? Well, but there's five in the back. And if he, okay. just, does, if he just does the 9 to 10, the, the, there is no eliminations. Okay, yeah, if you go that route, that's yes, the route exactly. that he wants to go. Mm -hmm. It's not the only possibility. No, it's not the only possibility, but the 10 foot wide spot is is a lot nicer than, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of. I mean, we all we all have car dings. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He had a lot of those ding doors. That yes, way. he would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's the answer for that uh, berm there between the? Uh, well, and that's that's where we're at. So. Maybe perhaps we could do something a little shorter, like a four to six inch shrub, and we could ask our landscape four architect to, for like a four to six inch. I mean, four to six, <laughs> but. Yeah. And, and, and I think that if you add something, you know, because you've you got to stay away from the house a little bit. So right. if you add something that was, you know, three foot wide and, you know, four feet high, then I, because you're screening a parking lot. You're not screening a building or right. anything else. Right. You're just screening a parking lot. Right. You know, but even four foot's not bad for an arbor body. This is probably at least four foot. Yeah. Christy, uh, think of the great big ones you had between yours and your neighbor. Well, and yeah, they're, they're not that's, eight foot. That's amazing. That's that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. They get pretty wide. The higher they get, the wider they get. Hers are high. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Excuse me? Four foot? Yeah. Sound okay? 
Yep, sounds great. Okay, well, at four foot, yeah, I mean, that's not because you can then do anything. I mean, it could be holly, it could be anything that's like, even so that grows together, burning bushes, like that, so it opens up everything there, so that's perfect. Well, yes, and, 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 and that's true. So you, you, can, you can have a little leeway of what you put in there, but on the other hand, the neighbor already has a screen. And the screening right. is an eight foot high privacy so, fence. Right. So, I mean, you're screening the neighbor's screening. Right. But if the neighbor takes that fence down, yep. it, it still has to be on the business owner's uh, so property. It's a, uh, eight foot well, wood fence? It is a wood fence. It's a wood privacy fence. So and it does from their, their whole backyard uh, north and west boundaries. Well, then can you keep it as it can it be that in the event that that does come down, then there's something that would have to happen? If it's not, I mean, you're screening a screen, does it? I, I understood. You know, so, could I, we do that? You know, make it a condition. Arborvitae can be trained. I mean, it can be trimmed and hedged and kept within a commercialized sure. uh, area. Yeah. Uh, so, I got I got 15 foot arborvitae beside my house, and they take up maybe two feet, two and a half feet. Yeah, They're 15 feet tall. tall. Yeah, yeah Chris has got them. Probably 12, 15 yeah, foot, or better. Skinny, but really tall. Yeah, they're yeah. skinny and tall. Mm. So you could plant everybody's in there. Oh yeah. Or any, you know, anything else. I mean, I'm thinking too. If you're screening the screen, is it possible to make the get if if that's the screen that's already there comes down, then you got to make a planting like we did with the corner when it was the um, the dollar store first came in. That you know that, that of course they did it by just throwing a bunch of balls of them out there, but still. Um, um, and until it, once once they took their fence down, then it was then we threw the screening out. So the screening would still have to be in in the house in the front yard. So the fence is only to the rear, to the rear yard. So it isn't. It's only basically one third of of the property. So can we do that? But I don't know. Then you're stopping it. It's a, I don't, you're, you're, it, it, it's a break. So you start here and then you end here, or do you just make it continuous? Yeah, I don't know. Go ahead. Like you got any, thoughts? Whatever you guys decide. It really doesn't make a difference to me. It would probably look nice as just being. I, 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 I agree. I agree. But yeah. So you're, you're talking in there all the way. You're talking all the way from that sidewalk on Fulton to where that existing. The property line. Yeah. The drive. Yeah. Okay. The property line. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. So then, let's then make it better if you can keep it in continuous to keep it shorter that way too. If you're thinking of parking lights down or something like that, sure. that will be less than having our body on every night or whatever. Yeah. And less likely to die faster. Those things tend. Well, I think that's that's all of them, isn't it? Um. Yeah. We discussed the retaining wall. Um. Oh, the signage. And the oh, trash enclosure. The trash enclosure is the the proposed wall is eight feet in height. Um, is the is the actual dumpster inside that that tall, or could it, could it be shortened to six? Could the wall be shortened to six? Mm -hmm. Yes, it could. I mean, unless it's necessary no. for what's inside. Um, gotcha. All right. And then the material color, um, just to be noted. Okay. On the second. All right. Got it. And then if you wanted to do signage with this application, the some more additional details on You're just gonna keep the existing sign and just re graphic it? They're working on a plan on that and a proposal for a new sign. Oh, oh okay. You're maybe thinking Central. about a new sign? Yep. Okay. Is that allowed? That's allowed on North Avenue? Oh sure. Yeah. I don't know what the what, what is the requirements. So that's an old sign. Um, is there a height requirement at the um, top of it? For for the existing I, sign on Main Street. Yeah, I, I I think that sign's too tall to duplicate that sign today. That's oh, right. Were you just going to be refacing the the existing sign? But Whitcomb will come. They'll come and get the. They'll take care of the permit on the sign. Does it need to be on here? Or no? No, it can no. be done through a separate application. Separate. They'll do that. Yeah. Separate. Go through yeah, that. Let's let them do that. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, usually, most time, it, it, and that's very common. You know, right. the, the signs. We we approve somebody that doesn't even know their business name yet. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Okay. All right.
So we need more questions? I don't think so. Okay. So we're good? So we're, uh, why don't you notify either myself or Becky when you're ready and when we'll set a meeting. Can I get this right to you or do we have, can I get like a, what I did today is I took one plan to row engineering and material. Yeah, I was going to say do Okay. And then I, instead of making 11 steps, I went there and sat with them today and he's going to make them tomorrow. Yeah, just if, send can we do that? Okay, do you, you, you guys have a platter, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you can just send them. You can, you can just email mm -hmm. Okay. Have your, your engineer email them and then they can just copy on a platter and they, they get the side print. And what? So special meetings, what kind of notice? Uh, I, I would say we should have at least a week. Okay. Thank you. Well, at least a week once we, once we have 11 copies of the prints. Got it. Got it. All right. Am yeah. I set? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Thank Good you. Job. Good to go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank Thanks. You. We'll see you. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Okay, so, good, thanks. Um, Do we have to come out here? No, no, now we're going no. to, we're going to look at uh, um, 8.23, is it right? Yeah, my sure. 8.23 will uh, <laughs> open the public hearing for the package. Uh, uh, yeah, so we need a motion. I move that we go into the public, public hearing. hearing. Okay, second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Okay, so we're entering into a public hearing for the zone or the uh, zoning uh, amendment or amendment to the zoning uh, ordinance uh, in respect to package liquor stores. So the way the ordinance reads today, uh, it mimics, it mirrors the state ordinance and the. Uh, problem that we had is the state ordinance would not allow cozies to be in existence, it wouldn't allow chaps to be in existence, and it would not allow this new store to have, uh, to sell beer, wine, or liquor, or Sunrise, uh, and the new party store. So um, what we're proposing is the recommendation from uh, McKenna to just delete that whole section, which is 6.507, uh, and just near the state, let the state handle the requirement. Correct? Um, well, no, not in a public hearing. Okay, so if there's any comments from public, I mean, <laughs> please. Please, <laughs> please proceed. Help me out. Come on, let's go. I need it. <laughs> okay, so then, uh, uh, having heard from the public, how about a motion to uh, exit out of the public hearing? So moved. Okay. Yeah, eight, 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 uh, okay, so second. we got it. Okay, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So now we're now we can go into the rest of it. So I'm going to turn the floor over to Laura. Okay, thanks. Um, <clears throat> so this uh, amendment would be deleting that section. Um, it only applies to packaged um, liquors, <coughs> beers, and wines. So this isn't a, regarding you know going into an establishment and being served. Um, <clears throat> the state already has protections um, through the Michigan Liquor Control Commission. And um, there's two types of licenses that uh, you can apply for for a packaged liquor. Um, there's the SDD and the SDM. Um, <clears throat> and there's different requirements for each of those licenses. Um, for the SDM, which is the more common, which is just your packaged beer and wine, um, there's no quota, there's no separation standards, but there are requirements that it can only be sold at certain businesses, um, like a grocery store, a convenience store. Um, and then there's personal qualifications and business ownership that you have to um, submit to the state in order to be approved. And then there are separation um, standards for if you're gonna be selling packaged liquor, and that's a separate license. Um, and then there's also a quota, which 
it's based on your population size, um, and our, our MEDA has already hit its, its one um, license limit that's available at this time. Um, so this isn't going to open like the floodgates for um, for beer and wine um, package uh, distribution. Um, it will still have to go through the state, but it will make it easier um, for businesses to offer that as a side. So if you're comfortable with the recommend or, or with this text amendment, then you'd be making a recommendation this evening to the council um, for the elimination of this section. The council has the last word in it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But the council was in support of doing this. Yeah, good. So I good. presume that it. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, <coughs> if we decide to go ahead and remove this council, this no longer has last decision. Council, it, it would be a recommendation of this body to Village Council, and then they would need to approve it since it's an actual... To approve deleting that order. Right, and once it's deleted, we no longer have the last say in the businesses. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's not that we don't have the last say, we just don't have... This This is not in our jurisdiction anymore. We're By doing this, we're deferring to the state. So this, all the requirements still have to be met. It just it doesn't it doesn't have to be met twice. It only has to be met once. Well, and also the so at the state level there's requirements, and then for the village of Armada there were these extra requirements that had the a thousand foot separation. But I mean, within 500 feet is almost the complete downtown mm -hmm. area. Right. So it's not proportional to um, to your commercial district. So do we, you need a, what a motion to uh, remove section 6.50? Before we do that, though, Dave, that I'm, I'm, I'm kind of assuming you're going to make that motion. No, I'm I'm assuming that I can't even vote on it because I'll be voting on it. Council. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I probably will not make that uh, okay. because I will vote on it in our council meeting. We could actually make the motion and still not vote. Right. I but I think uh, if before we we do that, yeah. I'd like to clarify something. So, isn't doesn't our doesn't this ordinance in existence today doesn't it mirror mirror the state ordinance the state requirement? It does in um in yeah in 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 part part because the state differentiates between just having a beer and wine and then a liquor. Whereas okay. we we combined them in our meta, so. Um, so what's the what's what's the what's the differences between our ordinance and theirs? So theirs is theirs is separated and ours is combined. So what's the separate? What's the two separation <coughs> ordinances? What's the? So and, and I'm assuming it's the setbacks. Yeah, it's 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 the distance from one business that sells packaged beer or wine from another packaged beer or wine. Okay. And the state says there's no. There's no separation distance. You could have uh, a grocery store, and then you could have um, a convenience store right next to it, and they could both sell packaged beer. Um, whereas the Armada Ordinance currently says that those two uses have to be a thousand feet away. When it comes to selling liquor, mm -hmm. that's a separate license, and they do have the separation requirements from each other and from churches and schools. Um, so there's some extra protections there for liquor. Yeah, the but the yes, we, 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 we don't even have we, a thousand feet. We put liquor on the on the package. Yes, beer and wine. Yeah, is, the, is what mm -hmm. happens. So. Yeah. Is the state a thousand feet on packaged liquor? Five hundred. Five hundred feet. Mm -hmm. but, okay, but you can uh, get a waiver. You can get a waiver. Yes. So in that waiver has to be signed by the people. So if there's a church or a school, is, isn't that correct? Mm -hmm. So they can they can sign a waiver and say it's okay. Okay. There's a couple other waivers that the state um, you can apply for too, such as like if you had a, a major freeway or something that that intersected that 500 feet where there's one drugstore or something that sold liquor and then a drugstore on the other side of the freeway that sold liquor, that freeway would count as a boundary enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. And presently there's none in our meta. 
Right. We don't think we're getting an expressway through town. <laughs> no, I mean we don't have we don't have anybody selling packaged liquor. Right now. No, no, there no, there is a liquor license, but it's not uh, it's not being utilized. No. Right. Okay. Yep. So, any more discussion? I, you know, I'll just say that I think it's pretty important. You got two uh, new businesses in town, and both, to some degree, are going to rely on beer and wine sales. Yes. You know. Yeah. And, it, uh, it behooves it, us to do it. Yeah, it just the the, the the ordinance didn't make any sense for me to begin with. And right. With that no. thousand foot right. thing yeah. in there, and that made no sense. No, it did. From one end of the commercial district to the other end of the district isn't even a thousand feet. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you need a motion to rescind that uh, six point five complete, so. yeah. complete yeah. removal. Yeah. yeah, complete removal. Yeah. That would, that would, that would, that would be worded. Yeah, I would say a, a motion to recommend to Village Council the elimination of section six point five oh seven from the Village of Armada zoning ordinance. I, I, yeah. <laughs> okay. What she said. She said. <laughs> I for, what, that, for, for her wording. I'll sign it. Got that, Becky. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, having heard a motion and second, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. One abstain. Oh, abstention, sorry. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Greg. One step closer now. One step. Okay, now, <laughs> so it still has to go to council. Then uh, we'll rec are recommended uh, to council, so council meeting is next Monday. Okay. So you'll take it to council next Monday? Um, yeah, we can get that on the agenda. Yeah. So then after that, the zoning ordinance, you pass the zoning ordinance, and you can start your, your state stuff because uh, once you start your state stuff, I think you have to do something with the police department and say that you've passed all zoning ordinances. I've already had the state in. Okay. I've already had unless they get a police control in. Okay. So I'm almost there. Okay, cool. I'm almost there. Good. All right. So back it out. We'll put this on your new hand yeah. with your crap in there. And uh, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a removal of section um, 6. Wish list on the counter. Card. People can write down current ordinance. Oh, okay. And that's how I'm going to do it. All right. Would that be right? Yeah. The best way. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll be buying the next few days to drop my list off. <laughs> you got a list? Four yeah. pages? No. Okay. Public comment. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you a lot. I highly appreciate it. Okay. So, um, moving right along here to chair report. Um, I want to thank you guys. This is, uh, we did a pretty power pack thing in just an hour and four minutes. Um, I got too much stuff. Here we go. Okay. So here's Christy, Dave. So this is another free seminar from Rowe. Rowe is our engineering firm. Uh, this one is. Uh, Say it, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Thank you, thank you. Um, this one's on a, a site plan checklist, I think. Isn't that right, Paul? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, uh, um, I don't know what the dates are. You guys have it. I think it's sometime this month. Uh, April 29th. Yeah. I know you have to kind of pre-register. Uh, RSVP to Rachel Yankee. Uh, Seating is limited to 50. RSVP by noon Friday, April 24th. Okay, so uh, I've, I've been to two or three of these now, and they're worthwhile. So, uh, where's this one at? It's one. the same place, right downtown today. The old building. And since there are engineers, uh, I think that anybody that uh, has that date open uh, would be advantageous to go. So even myself and, and Chris that have been chairs for quite a while that uh, um, you still learn stuff. 
It's about a two hour meeting. Right. So seven to nine. Seven to nine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they usually do a presentation and then a question and answer afterwards. So sometimes you get just as much off the question and answer. Do you have craft beers? I don't know. <laughs> So anyway, any, anybody interested in going? Um, yeah, Laura, you want to go? Ken, <laughs> 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 would you recommend CBA? What's that? Would you recommend CBA <laughs> to go to that? Uh, I don't know. If this is a site plan uh, uh, review process, I would say that maybe you would want to call them and ask them if that's very possible. It says, yeah, zoning, as an zoning, I'm interested. it says zoning administrators and planning planning commission members. Zoning mm -hmm. okay. Board of Appeals. Yep. Yeah. So it's listed in there. So I think yeah. and, and they do a lot of they it's a broad spectrum. So and they do it in a couple hours, so do they touch on everything? No, but uh, uh, it's you know so it's it's about four hours out of your life and it it's it's worth it. And from the village's end, it's free. So. Talk to me later this week, and maybe we can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, um, then the chair report, and also in the chair report. So I've, I've always kind of let you know if I had conversations with applicants. So as I uh, said earlier, um, I had quite a few conversations with Mr. Miniker. Uh, over the last week and a half, and I've uh, had some conversations with uh, Fred, uh, I can't remember Fred's last name, from uh, Fifth Third. Russell. Fred, Fred Russell, yes, thank you. Uh, um, and also somebody from their maintenance uh, uh, department. So uh, the drawings that you guys have, um, are, are good, but this is the same. Who is this guy? Berman. Berman. Yeah, he's the same architect engineer that did the. Uh, Ruff, Ruff the still. Yeah, so in the drawings look nice, but there's there's a lot to be. Well, uh, there's a lot of omitted. I, I thought Sam and Ross's were a lot more detailed than these. You know, it's a lot smaller project, mm -hmm. granted. Yeah. But it was a lot more detailed than these. Yeah, that but was probably Ross's doing, if you know Ross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, seriously. Yeah, he really he, gets he wants the detail. Enough said, Dave. Enough said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but they're, they're dimensionally, they're, uh, they're just not here. Yeah. So, and, and I, and I uh, thank you very much, Laura, for saying that we really should have the drawings. Uh, because we were supposed to, you were supposed to have drawings prior to this meeting, mm -hmm. and the drawing that uh, he brought, even these drawings, don't have the truck mm -hmm. route. Right. So uh, we're, we're still, it, it's much better than this one, but it, there's, we're still not there. Yeah. So. They're edging toward it. <laughs> yes. So this is what we do, and I'm talking to the camera now and, and people at home. So this is what we do on the Planning Commission. So, as I said, the, the prime directives for planning are health, safety, and welfare. So the, the truck route thing was definitely safety. Uh, uh, health we've dealt with before. Um, um, so we try to work with the applicants as much as possible to get them to come through to the meetings and have all the documentation. And that's what my stuff over the last week and a half with the meetings uh, with Mr. Vinegar and Fifth Third were to accomplish that, to make sure every, when they came to the meeting that all the information was present. So uh, it's not like we're doing anything other than preparing uh, the applicant to, to come. So, um, but we want to make sure that the, the, the thing of planning is you, you want to make sure that everything nests and it's good for the village, it's good for the applicant, and it's good for the patrons or the residents, depending on whatever the development is. is. So, um, 
I hope I didn't muddy any waters, but uh, that's kind of planning and addressed. So, and, and we are looking for a planning commission member, so if anybody would like to join in this process, uh, uh, please uh, contact the village with a letter of an intent and kind of a resume of what you've got and say that you'd like to be on planning and join in this process. So, any words from anybody else? The ZBA is also a short one member, so if anybody is interested in joining the ZBA, we'd uh, like to get one more member on. The council's short too. And, and the council's going to be short too, uh, approximately May 1st. Hmm. Wow. So, Who's the leader? Um, Harry Audi and Mike Starrett. Michael, Michael is? Yeah. Yep, uh, he's going to be a, ter a terrible loss, but yeah. uh, it's getting to be too much for him. <laughs> so. hmm. Anyhow, we hate to see these openings, but uh, hopefully we'll have some citizens step up. Yeah. I mean, most people in town know, or at least a lot of them know already, and we've had one application, I think. Anybody else? Okay, I'd like to thank uh, Ms. Hall again, Laura. Uh, thanks for uh, making our meeting go a little smoother and a, a little more professional. And uh, uh, with that, uh, motion? So move. Well, Second. I think we have to stay with the motion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Move to adjourn. <laughs> Second? Second? All in favor, then it is uh, 8 to 43. Four. Yeah, 844. Okay. 844.